Hey guys, it's James here, or Chris, some of you welcome and you know me, and um, it's just gone 20 past 11, that's why I'm talking really quietly at the moment. Um, I am currently playing in Syndicate's world, um, because a little while ago, um, if you're not aware of what Syndicate, who Syndicate is, or uh, what he does, he's basically the king of the rape train, um, I'm not going to lie, he uh, created it, and the sheep over there are jumping for some reason, don't ask me why. Um, and he basically said that he wanted to make a rape train, so he hollowed out this massive space below here, which you'll see in a second. Um, and he basically said he wanted to build a train. So uh, what I have decided to do is do it, kind of. Um, I've, in case you haven't looked at my hotbar, I've got all sort of minecart making facilities in there. And I, I, it's one thing that I can do quite well is minecart stations. The only thing that I haven't quite got down yet is uh, stacking carts, because of the, I'll explain in a second. Um, and all of this, uh, I'll probably do a redstone tutorial on it if you really want it because it's uh, complicated it's not actually saying that it's not really that complicated um, yeah but it, it's like 20 past 11 at the moment I'd do it another time and this is all for uh, you telling me how you dyed your sheep because um, <laughs> I have no idea how you did it there's a pig with the, the pig and the sheep and the, you should make that twice as high but um, yeah anyway so let's go downstairs. Or da it's not stairs, but down. Uh, I built a little watery thingy there just so I can get down a little bit faster. And once again, I probably should have put a source block there. So uh, this is it. Um, I'll push F1 just so you can admire its beauty. Um, yeah, I try to. One thing you find out about me is I'm not an aesthetic person. I only build something if it has a purpose like this. And I didn't even put a fourth wheel on it. Come on. Um, <laughs> So I started building wheels and I started to build like a structure and it didn't look good so I just deleted it and kept the wheels because I thought the wheels were quite pretty. Um, so here's how it basically works. Uh, you see there's a pressure pad there. Uh, when you stand on it, it will invert the current of this power track and call up a minecart. And then when you jump in the minecart, it will turn the power back on and this will be to wherever you want it to go. And then it will stop about here and then you can jump out and it will push along and it will go back. Um, that's pretty much it, but I've spent about five hours, you, you'll see why in a second. Um, basically, this will go to wherever, but I'd recommend, I'd recommend uh, taking it to like a, you can even take it back to the fire city, or uh, like a jungle biome, find one, and root it all the way there, that would just, that would be awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, uh, or, that other random tree that you built, that would be cool, but that's in that direction, I think, yeah, it's like that direction. Um, but this has taken me about, say, five hours, th between three and five hours. Um, and the reasoning for that is uh, I'm not used to using powered rails. I'm used to using boosters. Um, I've built, this is my third station now that I've built. Um, and what am I, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm sorry, it's late. This is about my third station that I built now. And this is the only one where my normal PEZ system hasn't worked, excuse me quickly. Um, I'll show you what uh, the sort of underground bits are, but basically under here uh, there's a, a redstone, no, there goes a the car, It'll, oh, I'll explain in a second, right, basically there's a redstone torch under there um, and underneath that there's a repeater. Um, blocks can conduct current, redstone current don't ask me why, it doesn't make sense to me either, and I've basically rooted the redstone round to go into the repeater and turn off this, so when you're standing on here, um, it will turn off the rail, and it's also linked up to something over there, which I'll explain in a second. Um, the reason that I wanted to do it like that is because that way, if you have like a runaway cart or something, it will uh, just kind of go through on its own. Um, that's a fault, I'll have to try and sort that, sort something out with that. Um, but you'll be riding in it, so that won't ever happen, that random cart there. And then uh, you'll get pushed along and obviously go to wherever and then come back and uh, when you're riding in a minecart it has more momentum when you're not riding in the minecart so this will come along and then you can either get out uh, and it will sort of like stand there or get pushed along a little bit and that will take up that powered rail or you can stand on this pressure pad and it will just apply a current. Um, so the reason that this has taken me this has taken me so long today is because of what is down here, basically. Um, 
in this space I have tried to build two different alternating pest dispensers um, I've tried to build a minecart booster which I found was ridiculously unreliable so I didn't use it um, and uh, I'm happy with it now because of it's sort of here and it's kind of done but um, there's no you can only keep one car at a time uh, if I wanted to I, there's no real way that I could build like a I suppose I could build a storage system if you change this one to powered rail and you already had like one or two in it let me try that Hang on. if you already had like one or two in it and that one was powered rail then uh, when you uh, I put a pressure plate over there for testing when you applied when you basically this pressure plate acts the same as that one up there when you stand on sorry pushed it go back never mind when you stand on this pressure plate it I'll explain this contraption in a second but just basically know that the output is on so it will turn on that plate that works I can do that right change your plan you can store carts in it now but uh, not that one unless you wanted to do some funny stuff here um, uh, what was I saying yes it's okay so I explain this now um, this has already been going on for six minutes but never mind basically what happens here is when you stand on the pressure plate over there this long wire here is basically just coming straight from that um, it will come back to here and because of the redstone the way the redstone works is this redstone will get turned off when uh, I don't want to stand on the pressure plate to show you uh, this will get turned off when there's a current coming in from under it because the block will carry the current to turn off the torch and then because this, this you see this torch is off now and because this torch is off because torches are normally set to on like this one is this one will turn on and uh, and because right now this torch is supplying power to this block okay when this torch goes out it will pull back the block and then because you can have this piston can be uh, turned on by both sides so uh, like if I was to remove that one nothing would happen because there would be no change in state um, it's complicated redstone is one of these things that you just sort of got to try with um, as you can see right now um, I'll, I'll just kind of skip around to here um, redstone can apply current to repeaters just straight off it can also do it underneath um, let's do okay that's a bad example uh, that that's on at the moment uh, if that makes sense uh, so yeah and because this current is because blocks can conduct current other than glowstone and glass pretty much and redstone lamps which are in a future release uh, this is converted through into this piece of redstone wire and because this piece of redstone wire is on it will turn off this torch and because this torch is turned off there is no current coming in the output however there <laughs> that's basically what I was trying to show uh, I need to replace that now so uh, where is it it's there. I did this with uh, too many items uh, just because it would be easier um, it would take about I want to say about 20 to 30 pretty pretty going more 25 30 end of powered rail um, a lot of redstone but you've got plenty of redstone um, not redstone redstone dust just dust just call it dust uh, pressure plates a couple of repeaters about th two three repeaters um, because you need a repeater going into there, one repeater to continue the current all along here, and one repeater to for the uh, pulse generator. That's what that's called, by the way. I, I completely forgot to tell you. Um, and that yeah, pretty much covers it. If you want me to go over in anything more in detail, uh, let me know. Um, I'd appreciate if you, if Syndicate is watching this, uh, if you checked out my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Um, reason for that is being that I only have like 68 subscribers and uh, I don't I don't normally do sort of Minecraft stuff but I know how to do it and I thought why don't I just benefit you with my knowledge this has been going on for 10 minutes I'm gonna edit this down um, 
Uh, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. And I might as well just benefit you with my knowledge that I have. Um, I, obviously, I don't, I can't do the aesthetics. So if you were to uh, build this and then re-release the world and see what people came up with, that would be beneficial. Um, the reason these fences are here is because. Let me think. Why are these fences here? It's because if you were to get out of the cart, either way, you could go backwards, um, which you can just stop by doing that. Probably going to get a cart coming along now. By doing that, that way carts can come through, uh, and you wouldn't get sent backwards, um, which you can also do on the other side, which I've only just... No, you can't do it on the other side because there's people coming in. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is going on my channel, so on Monday... Actually, no, you can't expect anything on Monday, again, because I'm waiting on something <laughs> from someone. Uh, probably going to have a commentary up soon uh, with a dual com with one of my good friends. Um, but that pretty much covers it. Um, I'd appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. It took me like three hours of work, and this has been going on for 11 minutes. Um, it's just as commentary alone. If you do want me to go over anything again, uh, you can either give me a tweet, which is in the description, message me on here, and I'll answer the question. Uh, post a comment, I'll answer it there. Uh, that's about it, though. Um, if you want me to do anything sort of else, Red Sony, uh, I can do that if you wish. Um, something else that I just completely forgot about. Uh, if you were to come down here, you see where this comes up. If you were to make a bigger ramp, you could have more carts in it. That, that's it's like a Pez dispenser V2. You you don't know what I mean by a Pez dispenser. The old uh, way of storing minecarts is I'm just blabbering now, but uh, if you're still interested, is you put rails up the side and then they would just stack on top of each other. But now you would just generate constant momentum with uh, minecarts. So yeah, thanks and uh, goodbye.